There's nothing quite like a roast chicken dinner, but it can be intimidating for some people to roast a chicken. It doesn't need to be because it's really, really easy. First thing you need to do is preheat your oven to about 425 degrees. Take a look inside. If there are giblets in there, take them out. That's a surprise you don't want to have after you've roasted your chicken. So remove the giblets and remove any extra fat that you might find on the side. Then salt inside. This is the only time the chicken flesh actually gets seasoned, so be generous with that salt in there. The rest of the salt just goes on the skin. Salt and pepper. And then let's take a lemon half. Let's squeeze the lemon inside the chicken. I'm gonna just drop it right inside. I'm gonna take some of those fresh herbs, plop those inside as well. The smashed garlic cloves go inside. And I'm just gonna put half an onion in there as well, just for a little flavor. I'm gonna tuck these wings right behind the back, just like that, to keep it in a nice shape. And I'm going to season the outside. Salt all over. Pepper all over. Now, I'm gonna wash my hands, because my hands have been touching chicken. So take everything that you've used while you've been touching the chicken and give it a good wash, just so you're not cross-contaminated. So to get that nice crispy brown skin, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the outside. Sprinkle the olive oil on, and then we're gonna massage it in just a little bit, keeping that salt and pepper in place. And now transfer this to your roasting pan. I have to wash my hands again. Now you'll see that I'm cooking the chicken on a rack. That's actually a really important step because when you're roasting a chicken, you want that hot air to circulate all the way around the chicken. So elevating it off the bottom helps it cook faster and gives it a crispier skin. Often when you roast a chicken, you wanna make a gravy afterwards. So in order to catch those drippings and have enough liquid at the end to make a gravy, we need to put some liquid down there now. So you can put chicken stock, you could put wine, some beer, juices, even water. So once that liquid's down there, this goes into the oven, 425 degrees for the first 15 minutes. So after the first 15 minutes, we're gonna turn the heat down to about 375, 350 degrees and cook it for the remainder of the time, which is probably about an hour, depending on how big a chicken you're roasting. You can go away after the first 15 minutes because you don't need to baste the chicken. Basting the chicken skin just inhibits that crispiness that we want. So we're gonna just let it go. There, it looks beautiful, so it's very tempting, but we need to make sure that inside the chicken is well cooked. So the first sign is to look at the legs. Do the legs move easily? That's a sign. The next sign is, are there any juices visible? The juices need to be clear. If they're at all red, it needs to go back into the oven. But the best way to make sure the chicken is done is to use an instant read thermometer. Put it in the thickest part of the thigh, and I always go to the inside there. Make sure that you're actually in the thigh and not in the space between the thigh and the breast. It needs to come to 165 degrees. If it's a little lower than that, if it's at 160, just loosely tent it with foil because there's something called carryover cooking and that usually raises the temperature about five degrees. So tent it with foil, let it sit. The chicken needs to rest for about five minutes. That's all. It's too hot to eat right now anyway and by letting it rest, you're gonna have a juicier, more moist chicken. Thanks for watching. If you wanna see more of the basics, click over here. If you wanna know more about this fantastic roasting pan, go ahead and click over here. And if you have any recipe suggestions or comments, leave them in the comment section below.